Welcome to Lifestyle Med with Dr. Jade. Health, it's a lifestyle. Hey family and welcome back to Lifestyle Med with Dr. Jade, your home for next level health with lifestyle changes. Are you new here? Then welcome. I'm Dr. Jade. I'm a family medicine physician resident and on this channel, we talk all about fitness, nutrition, primary care, hot topics, motivation, inspiration. If you're interested in topics like that, join our fam, subscribe down below, hit the bell so you never miss a Wellness Wednesday. This week, I'm coming for your kitchen, guys. I am talking about five tips, my top five tips for a healthier kitchen. Tip number five, de-junk the cabinets. This is key. So many of us are tempted if it's in our house. I know for me, if it's not in my house, the temptation is minimized. If I actually have to get in my car, drive somewhere to get the unhealthy food, that just creates an extra barrier. But if I can just walk right into my kitchen and grab all this processed food, junk food, snacky junk food, that increases the likelihood of us eating junk. But de-junking those cabinets, just like you see in this video right here, is going to be key. Taking a look at those cabinets, getting out your trash bag, donate it if it hasn't been opened because there's plenty of people out here who need food, but if it's unhealthy to your health and not gonna be beneficial to helping you achieve your goals that we set last week on our goal setting video, then it's got to go. Tip number four, avoid the aisles. I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but specifically this is perimeter shopping, you guys. Now that we've de-junked our cabinets, it's time to fill them with nutritious foods that are going to benefit our health. One tip, easy tip that I give my patients and clients is perimeter shopping. Taking a look at the grocery store, avoiding the aisles as much as you can, minimal aisle use, maximum produce section use, okay? So known as shopping primarily on the perimeter or on the outside of the aisles. Tip number three for a healthier kitchen is primarily shopping for produce. That is filling our baskets primarily with vegetables, fruits, whole grains, healthy fats, healthy oils. Tip number two for a healthier kitchen is meal prepping weekly. Taking those healthy nutrient dense foods that we've now packed our kitchen with and prepping them, being prepared. If you haven't checked out my meal prep like a boss video yet, what are you waiting for? That should be up next for you. It has got great hacks in it that can help you with meal prep, making it easy, simple, and doable. And tip number one for a healthier kitchen. Are you ready? This is one of my favorites. No produce in the drawers, okay? Oh my gosh. So many people, including me back in the day when I used to use my crispers, I don't know why these crispers were created as to be this nice place to tuck our fruits and vegetables away. No, no, no. I call that the produce graveyard. Because that is where our fruits and vegetables literally go to die. Produce should be sitting on your shelves at all times, front and center, where you can see them. If they're already washed, already cut, like you'll see in my meal prep like a boss video, that's even better. They should be easily accessible, right in your face. If anything, if you still have some things that are unhealthy in your fridge, if anything, those things should be tucked away in the drawers where you hopefully forget about. But those drawers, those crispers should be free of any produce. And that's it guys, those are my top five tips on a healthier kitchen. Let me know below, which of these tips do you think you are going to implement? Next week on Lifestyle Metal with Dr. Jade, we will be chatting about self-care tips, the top five self-care tips for the new year. You guys don't wanna miss this one. I'll see you next week on Wellness Wednesday. Bye. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you and God bless.